Hello, folks. I think I finally got this stuff figured out. <laughs> uh, I've been working on this one. I didn't do any updates or anything on it because I've been trying to figure out this YouTube, Google Plus stuff and couldn't get anything to upload, get anything to do anything. But I think I finally got it. Uh, so I'll give you a quick update what I've been doing. Been working on this street machine, this Corvette. Been sick as a dog too, ain't helped none. But I finally got something going here. It's 95% done. These wheels that are on it aren't going to stay on it. I, I put some pictures up on Google Plus of the one to one car it's actually my father-in-law's car I'm trying to we're doing it for him for for his birthday he want or well my wife wanted to do one for him so I had to cut them holes in the hood they had, his had them cut so I put them in this one and blacked out the the headlight covers they are on his so I did his too those wheels are pretty close. Those are like Craggers, which I like these on it pretty good. But his has got more, look more like that IROC, the Pegasus IROC. So I've got some ordered for it. And then down at the bottom, you see I did a little bare metal foil. His has got stainless strip down there at the bottom. Inside, not a whole lot to do is is mostly black I kinda of picked out the radio there you can see and did a little work there like where the numbers are for the shifter and the emergency brake that wing there whenever I got the kit that would come plumb up to about here and his bobbed off right there so I bobbed them off and puttied it and it all looks like one piece now like it did and had to fill in all those gaps all the these fender flares here are all separate sorry about the finger they're all separate pieces so you have to put them on and his look like they're seamless like they come from the factory which maybe they did but I don't think so it's some kind of a kit they put on them and then he took the side pipes off of his and run the dual run dual exhaust at the dual tips coming out the back so I did that coming out of here this kit was an old kit it don't even have a date on it did the steering wheel I did the motors. I did wire it. I haven't put a breather on it yet. I think I might try to drill a couple of holes in the top of that. I still have to paint that carburetor too. I'm going to leave it chrome. But I think I'm just going to drill a couple of holes in that and make it look like a four barrel. I didn't do a lot to the motor yet. I still got a. This kit didn't come with a brake booster. I'm gonna try to make a brake booster and put in there. I still need to clean it up a little bit. It needs to be waxed. My wheels may fall off. They're just sitting there. And I'll show you the underneath, and the wheels will fall off. So. But there's my exhaust that I made to make it look pretty similar to his. I do a little touch up there, I see, on the exhaust. It's not got a whole lot of detail to it because the one to one don't have a lot of detail. They painted the underneath black. And Try to make it look as close now. Look like it's been wrecked. It, try to make it look as close as I could to the one to one. 
But that's what I've been doing. Finally seen Chevy Cheeseburger on today. Glad to see you back. Sorry. Sorry for your loss, buddy. Heart goes out to you in my prayers. And glad your sister's feeling better and hope you're doing better now. But that's all I got, guys. You all have a great day and a great Thanksgiving. Y'all, if you're going somewhere, be, be very careful out there on the roads. Take care now.